Hey Smokers, Draga1 here, and today we're going to be doing something weird. Um, some people were saying that I should upgrade the Windows XP copy on here to like Windows 8, Windows 10, heard a few Windows Vista in there, heard a 7. Why don't we just do all of that? Um, so we may be able to do that. Um, currently, copy I have Windows Vista sucks, Windows 7's great, Windows 8's eh. Uh, Windows 10, uh, well, you know, it'll work, I guess. We have to do everything 32-bit, and I don't know if all this is 32-bit, or if all these will do the proper upgrade procedure properly. So I guess the first thing we can do is start with this. So the advantage to operating systems Vista and above is that they don't immediately require your product key at all. You can just install and put your product key in in the next 30 days or so. So since it's not going to take 30 days to go through this upgrade procedure, I think we can just get away with it without having to enter a single one. That is, if it allows us to do upgrade procedures and not just reinstallations, which, you know, we could do, but it's not as interesting. And then of course we want to see if we can still play Hot Wheels Velocity X when we get to the other side, going Vista 7, 8, 10 all the way through the upgrade fest. This is probably going to take several hours. I don't know. Ooh, look at this. So this is actually prompting me if I want to install Windows Vista. So this is a pre-release version of Windows Vista that I got from a friend way back in the day. And I remember back then we were playing uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted. I'm not talking about the new one. I'm talking about the one that came out in like, what? 2006, 2007, maybe 2005? Yeah, playing that on uh, iMac of the same age of this machine. Um, let's go ahead and install now. Ah, it's looking better already. <laughs> Alright, what are we looking at here? Get important updates for installation. No. So here's the product key screen. I think you just click next and do it later. Do you want to enter your product key now? You have... You might need to reinstall Windows later and potentially lose data. No. This is going to be pretty easy if it just lets me go ahead. Hey! So what do we want? We want Ultimate? I guess. So here's the problem with selecting a version. And it's okay for me to go from Vista Ultimate to 7 because I have... The 7 one I have is Ultimate. But Windows 8, I'm not quite sure which one this is. I don't know if this is an all all versions one. Um, and then I don't know what's going to happen when we try to go to Windows 10. So we could do Ultimate, but it's probably going to blow up in our face. I actually looked back to the Windows OSception video, and I saw that my copy of Windows 8 apparently has Windows 8 and Windows 8 Pro, both 64 and 64-bit and 32-bit versions. So I think we need to keep with Home... Shit. I guess we could do Home Premium. I'm guessing that's what Windows 8 is. It's that's equivalent to Home Premium. Home Basic, we don't want to do. Business? Is business? Pro this was, like, really complicated back in the day. Was there any Vista Pro? I don't know. Okay, so I just looked it up. It looks like the upgrade, the proper upgrade path, if we want to stay on the, you know, XP Pro, 7 Pro, 8 Pro, 10 Pro. Is there a 10 Pro? I don't think no. Um, we have to do Vista Business, because Vista Business, oh, Business N. I also forgot to read about that. Home Basic N and Business N editions of Windows Vista ship within the European Union without Windows Media Player in accordance with EU sanctions brought against Microsoft for violating antitrust laws. So screw that, I want my Windows Media Player. Alright, so Vista Business is equivalent and is upgrade compatible to Windows 7 Pro. God, so confusing. There's literally like a chart that you need to look to see what can upgrade to what, and it's just, uh, I have selected the edition of Windows that I purchased, uh, sure. I think it froze. This could be bad. I think it froze. Patience paid off, okay, Vista Business. Uh, go. So we're going to do Upgrade. 
These issues do not prevent your upgrade, but some applications or devices may not work once the upgrade completes. Sun Java Scheduler. Oh, we'll be missing that. So now this screen right here is going to pretty much remain unchanged even throughout Windows 10 installations. It looks pretty much exactly the same. The window looks the same. It has those like step-by-step -step things and then it has the bar across the bottom to show what it's doing. So this is, you're going to be seeing a lot of this today if this all succeeds. So uh, we'll come back in a second when it gets through with this copying files process. And actually, this is the bulk of the install for Windows Vista 7, 8, and 10, I believe. Shit. Shit. Go online to get the latest updates for installation. Recommended to get latest updates such as security updates and hardware drivers to help successfully install Windows. It is connected to the internet. So technically, if it's missing any files like it just reported it was, it may be able to just download them. It's not going to like connecting to the internet for this! Oh, damn it, i got to wait again. Let's try it again. Uh, who cares about Sun Java? Okay, let's see if it'll work this time. Balls! Well, there's another way to do it. We restart, we boot off the CD. No. Get out of here. We restart. Just restart. I don't like it. I do not like it. What the fu- Oh, I'm gonna boot off the CD. Well, it almost happened twice in a row now. I'm getting into this really bad habit of not knowing when my shit's recording or not. Like, I just recorded, like, I only, like, a minute of, of stuff, but, like, still, it was on standby. Either way, I'm now booting Windows Vista off of the CD. Let's see if it does anything differently. Now we're in the bootable Vista area. Come on, come on, come on. What's going on with the white balance? Fuck. Worst case scenario, I do Vista Home Premium. It might just not have the files for business. What? I can't do an upgrade. <laughs> Got this weird urge to play fear. Like fear combat. Okay, so what I'm about to do is technically impossible. Going from XP Pro to Home Premium is technically a downgrade of version according to Microsoft. So this may not work. Uh, it may just disable the ability for me to do an upgrade. And now we wait, of course. You cannot upgrade from Windows XP Professional Windows Vista Home Premium. You can upgrade to Windows Vista Business, Windows Vista Enterprise, and Windows Vista Ultimate. So if I do Ultimate, the technical work, but then I wouldn't be able to go Windows 8. So I guess we could upgrade directly to Windows 7, um, or we could just do a clean install of Vista. It wouldn't reformat, but it would just install. Um, the downside of that is, is that everything would not carry over. We wouldn't have anything. We wouldn't, well, not that anything's here to begin with, but I guess you could say the boot camp drivers for one. Again, the boot camp drivers can be reinstalled. Um, we could just try installing Vista outright and see if it works, and then try to upgrade to Windows 7 from Vista, and then see if we could go from there, because I just don't have the versions available uh, to do this in a timely fashion. This is literally the only Vista disk I have, because I've been anti-Vista for many years, so you know that would explain the lack of installation media. And uh, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, actually try and do this just straight install business. I don't have much of a business. I think I'll take your weapons. What, 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 what word? I don't understand. Uh, oh, I want to install it there. Uh, files and folders should be moved to a folder named Windows.old. Okay. Now we wait. Again. Okay, this Vista disk officially sucks, and it's a sign I should never mess with Windows Vista ever again because it's ass. So let's just do Windows upgrade right to Windows 7 and get this thing over with. Come on for me! Oh, 
looks pretty much exactly the same as Windows Vista. It's a slightly different color theme and a number instead of the word Vista. And now it looks like Windows 7. Because it is Windows 7! So they went from like Aurora lights to this weird plant utopia laser time lapse. I don't know. Professional. Upgrade. Please, we're, uh, what? What? Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this just did, this just in. we have a, a recent development here. Uh, we have, uh, somehow this has been coming into our possession and, uh, we will now, uh, proceed with the proper upgrade procedure. Yes. Yes. All right. Windows Vista Business Service Pack 2. Oh yeah. Now we're not messing around. Good. The fuck? Is this not upgrade? So after a bit of shuffling around, I managed to get my hands on Vista Ultimate and it allows for upgrading from Windows XP Pro. So the advantage to going the ultimate route now is that if we're on the ultimate path, that means we can go to 7 ultimate and then from 7 ultimate to 8 pro, since there is no 8 ultimate. And they're trying to make it, you know, simpler now. And then from 8 pro, you can go to, well, I guess Windows 10 pro. So uh, let's go ahead and get this started because it's going to be a long one. Assuming it works, that is. I just hope I don't see that damn error again. But while we're waiting for this... <laughs> oh my god, it's done! Nah, 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 nah. So here's the plan. Every time we upgrade an operating system, we're gonna run this. See if it still works. And watch the performance slowly degrade. Ooh! What? 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 I didn't get a chance to look at it! Oh fuck! Oh, oh my god! Focus camera! Damn it! This is the most important part of the whole. Happening. It's happening! Please wait while we set up your computer. I'll give them a computer. We're pretty damn close now. We're in the completing upgrade phase. We are now permanently leaving Windows XP behind. For those of you who didn't see the previous video, we are on an SSD right now. So I don't really know how Vistas could improve the boot time. If anything, it should make it worse each step of the way until about the time we get to Windows 8 and it should increase in speed and then maybe Windows 10 will slow it back down a little bit but I really have no idea we're just gonna have to time it oh my god if I see this goddamn thing one more time oh my god finally something to do uh, oh shit thank you did I win? start I haven't used Vista since probably 2009 I ain't ready for it. <laughs> Maybe it was 10. I don't... Oh my god! Getting it done just got more fun. Turn everyday moments into lifetime memories with iMovie. Actually, I will say, this is probably the most visually, aesthetically pleasing Windows install that I that there is. I mean, think about it. Look at those high resolution kind of icons going on there. I don't remember that from Windows 7. It was just Snoresville. Oh, and now it's going on. Oh, back! With Spotlight, you can find everything. And I assure you, you should feel glad that you're not talking, you're not hearing from 
2007-2008 Drew Argo one. Because he would give you an earful on this particular subject. Yes, everybody hates Vista, yeah, yeah, yeah. But a lot of people like Vista for various reasons. I call them lucky. But I am one of them. Started using Vista in 2008. And I believe I used it until 2010. Maybe 11. Never had a problem with it. Until, and this is what prompted me to upgrade, I started getting random blue screens for no reason. And I just went to 7. And never had a problem. And that's the end of the story. There's the arrow bubble. We're here. I, I, I do believe we've made it. We've made it. I think we're here. I think we're finally here! Hey, we still got Firefox, we still got Hot Wheels Velocity X. So instead, let's just make sure Hot Wheels Velocity X works and see if the eject button still works. Uh oh. I don't know if that was supposed to come up or not. Eject? Oh, <gasps> it does work! Hey! Are we connected to the internet? I don't believe it. Do we have arrow? Oh my god! We do! Look at that, huh? Not too bad performance either. And you know what else that means? We can get now the performance index of this computer. It's a 3.0, look at that. Rated successfully, 3.0. Not too shabby. Probably my hard disk should shine far above the rest, and it does. 5.9. Calculations per second, 4.2. Memory operations per second 4.4. Graphics performance is a bit lacking, and gaming graphics is the lowest, so it's rated by the lowest subscore. I'm not quite sure how someone can frickin' hack into your computer with, like, the slideshow gadget. But, I guess it's possible. It probably isn't. <laughs> it will. Here we are, once more. Play. Oh, shit. I've already had a casualty. Now this is sort of one of the errors I got when I tried to play this on uh, React OS. Retry it. Oh god damn it. We may need Windows 7 to heal it. Let's try it once more. Let's ignore. Hey. We, we might we may do this. Come on, come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Okay, I don't want to see this anymore. Is it the volume up? Oh, well, we lost our audio drivers, I think. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, nor? I think these are just problem with the FMVs. Yeah, there may be. Aw, oh, damn it! Windows Vista is now as good as React OS in terms of Hot Wheels Velocity X playability. So maybe if we get Windows 7 on here. Color scheme has changed to Windows Vista Basic. Oh hell no. So there's your Windows Vista. Ulti. And it's about to go away. And turn it to Zeban. You want an upgrade fest? You got one. Hmm. Forgot about that. So many features we know and love from Windows 7. Including the fabulous UAC cares about the quality of life of its users. Except that's bullshit. As an upgrade, I'm losing my mind very slowly. But since this video is somewhat edited, I may be missing out a little bit on that. So since we're in Ulti land, we gotta go Ulti to Ulti. Ulti. X86. Ulti to ulti. Upgrade! Yes! Don't fail me now! Availability checker! I mean compatibility. This is taking too long. I'm getting worried. I think Windows Vista is just trying to get over the shock of the fact that it hasn't even been restarted once since it was installed. Oh my god. Windows Vista Ultimate Extras have been discontinued. It will no longer be available after upgrading to Windows 7. I don't care. Uh, programs might not work. After the upgrade, we could recommend uninstalling these programs before upgrading. Apple Boot Camp. Well, we can reinstall that. And the cycle begins again. 
My brothers and sisters, today we have come together to witness the ground installation of Windows 7 atop Windows Vista. Our time of darkness is almost over, my children. Very soon, you will see the light again. Oh, this error again. Luckily, though, I have some other Windows 7 discs! Let's try it! So let's try this again. We have a, another disc. We'll uh, give it another shot. Oh, God. Oh. Wait a minute, what? No! No, no, no! Installing updates! No, Windows 7! I could have stopped you! Oh, well, at least... At least it got past. The point where I had the error. This is gonna take years. I've been sitting here for hours. I don't think it's actually made any progress. I mean, look at this. I could see the sun when I started this video. Holy crap, it actually made progress in a short amount of time. Look what time is it in Oh! Why do I keep putting myself through this? Installation. After installation. Can't sleep without seeing windows. Set up. Oh my god, it's just now upgrading. <gasps> no. What? I think we've slipped back in time. We must have. So, guys, I want to go to bed. And when I wake up, if I wake up, we'll see if this is done. So, as you could probably guess, I didn't go to sleep. I couldn't sleep. Ask me later. Skip over this. Oh, God. Why I tried to go back, I don't know. There we go. Perfect. Now we're done. Did you guys know I was naked this whole video? Psych! Shame on you for going back in the video to see if you could see my reflection. Oh my god, Windows 7. Don't fail me now. Oh no! No! Ah! Oh, not again. I thought it was over. Wait, maybe it is. Holy crap. Up. Oh. oh. It worked! We're on Windows 7 now. The upgrade fest is real. How are we doing? Hey, 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 hey. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's very good, actually. So now, I'm going to go to bed. When I come back, I'm probably going to install uh, Windows 8 after we see if Hot Wheels Velocity X works. So for now, shut it down. Apple built-in eyesight unprogrammed. Does that mean it still works? Hot Wheels lost the X. Two upgrades is just too much. Can I volume up and down? Does not appear that I can. Windows update, get out of here. That's not good. Uh, I didn't even start anything. What? What? What's happening? Is this just what the auto... Whoa, okay. We've lost our arrow theme. Yeah, I think this is just the boot camp driver setup from the Leopard disc. But it might be an updated version, I'm not sure. Yeah, it sure looks like it. Let's see if it'll happily install here, reinstall here for us. Well, that'll take a minute. You have no idea how much that message box absolutely infuriates me. Oh my god. It's back. Eject key still doesn't work. Ooh, that's new. NVIDIA driver? How does this... This doesn't have NVIDIA. It's like Intel integrated. What is this? Does this have some magical NVIDIA chip I don't know about? I don't understand this. I don't... I don't... So yes, this process is very familiar. It did this before on XP. We're gonna have to redo it on 7 so we can get the functionality of the eject key back. 
Other than that, I don't think we're going to need anything else. Hot Wheels Velocity X probably will not survive. And it's done! Hooray! Oh, yay, another restart. It's time. Oh, that works. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? 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 <laughs> All right, let's do it. No, this is no modifications. I did not reinstall this. Wow! Wow! Holy crap, Windows 7 is like the messiah. Oh my god. It healed it. Windows 7 healed it. I don't believe it. Like, for real, look at this. I swear to god I didn't reinstall this. It almost looks like it's running better. Maybe I turn the graphics down all the way again. Hey, wait a minute. Something's wrong here. This runs better than it was before. Let me check those graphics options. Okay, we, we, we took it down to 800 by 600. But I think it's turned all the way up. I mean, I didn't have any anti-aliasing on. I didn't turn any of these off. Is it really running better? Let's turn up the resolution. Just a little, 1024 by 768. You know what it could have been? And I didn't try this. As well, as much as I want to show that like Windows 7 is just awesome. I think what happened was when I installed Vista, it didn't bring all the drivers over and it couldn't play the game. Because I didn't reinstall Boot Camp like I did right now. However, the volume up down stuff worked in Vista after I installed it on top of XP. But it didn't in 7. So, I guess the only way we'll truly know is if, like, I go back, start at XP again, upgrade to Vista, reinstall Boot Camp on Vista, and then see if this still... and then see if it works. I want to go with... Windows 7 is just awesome. And I swear, this game is now running better than it was before. It... it I... It is. It's actually smooth. I, I don't have an explanation. Alright, well, as enjoyable as that is, let's make sure we got internet. Yep. We're gonna go Windows 8. Um... Okay. I install... I inserted the Windows 8 disk, and it came with a... came up with a... Mac... package icon? Maybe that's just Boot Camp applying the package icon to anything that's a setup? Or maybe it's just because this is, like, the cracked version or something. <laughs> okay. Seems legit. Alright. Well, look, this is a familiar screen. And it really hasn't changed after, like, now the three versions of Vista and up. Uh, Windows 8 Pro, x86. Now, the difference between Windows 8, Windows 7, and Windows Vista is... Windows 8 doesn't have little icons next to it. Now, I don't know if there's something wrong with this version that I have, but... Come on, please be compatible! And wouldn't you guess, it's gone. Like every frickin' other version before it. Looks exactly the same as boring as ever with the loading bar at the bottom. Yeah. We've all seen it before. Um... It's just spinning up and down. The disc is just spinning up and down. Uh, we could have a problem here. Six years have passed. It's been spinning up and spinning down, and spinning up and spinning down. I think I need to boot off this disc. Hey, I'm back. We're on day three, I think. Uh, where did I start this? Day four? I don't know. Uh, all I did is I restarted the install. Didn't have to restart, uh, I restarted the computer, of course. Restarted the install in Windows 7, and I started it, did the upgrade, 
but I made it so that it would run updates while it's installing, and it got it through that first hurdle there, and so I'm hoping that it'll just keep going. So we'll see if it uh, gets any further. Okay, so it did a lot of stuff. Uh, I didn't notice what it did. It restarted itself a few times. I didn't notice because I was playing Doom. Hey, he's shooting weed. Nummy time. Goodbye. But uh, it's going. It's going through the getting ready phase. Um, we're just we're going straight through the entire evolution of uh, Windows from XP to 10. It's gonna be a wild ride. Oh my God! We finally made it. Take a look at this. It's the simplest, cleanest. Maybe almost overly simplistic compared to literally everything else. It's just a solid color. No arrow backgrounds, no weird bird, tree, psychedelic thing or whatever that is. No auroras, no green hills. No bloody A, no bloody B. No, just this. And we're going to go with green. Because green is the same color as weed. Express settings. Oh, here comes some controversy. Customize. Do you want to turn on shares between PCs and connect devices on the other? No, I guess not. Automatically get device drivers, apps, and info for new devices. Uh, turn on smart screen filter. Yes. Smart screen filter. Yes. Um, I I guess it doesn't really matter too much. We're not really going to be do doing that much, but all this is already off by default. Let apps use my account name and account picture. No, not that it really matters. But um, we can finalize. Hi. But look at what what a jarring difference between seven and eight. This is just a whole new world. Does it want me to do this now? I guess not. Okay, let's start. Holy shit, we're done. We did it! You and me, together, we did it! Do we have right-clicking? We do not have right-clicking. Oh, we do! I just was impatient. We have right-clicking. Okay, what else we got? Do we have... We have internets? Do we have to internets? We have the internets. Now to make sure that's not cached. Looks really frickin' bright, does the... Brightness up and down work. Did that carry over? It did say when I was uh, when I was uh, it did say when I was installing Windows 8 it would break boot camp, which doesn't surprise me. <laughs> this page is not a sandbox. Not, it should not be used for test editing. So I guess I could try and reinstall boot camp, but it doesn't really matter. Let's see if Hot Wheels Velocity X works. Oh wait, that means I can't eject the disk. Oh, that works! I press the eject button and it does eject the disk, but it doesn't turn the volume up and down, or maybe it does and it's just not showing it? I'm turning it up. Maybe I need to hold function? Function... Up? No, nope, that doesn't. So the eject button works, but the other buttons don't. So we have a little bit of functionality left behind. Let's see if we have the velocity x functionality left behind. As you can see, it's changed our desktop background multiple times without our consent. If I had it my way, we'd still have the XP background, which may be somewhere still in the system. I don't remember what it's called, but I bet you if I search for bitmap files, I'd probably find it. I don't know if we have sound, but let's play the game. Noob HQ. A little bit lower FPS there on the FMV. Yeah, that's close enough. Oh, that's, that looks fine. And we got sound. Yeah, that's probably a better game I could use as a benchmark for this computer. Let's see how it runs. It doesn't run as good as it did on Windows 7. I mean, I don't really have an FPS meter or anything in this game, but it's all just sort of me kind of testing it, but I don't know if you can notice, but basically it's not quite as smooth, and something tells me when I get to Windows 10 it's going to be even worse. You definitely lose something going to 8 in this case. 
So I could reinstall the boot camp drivers and that might clean things up, but it's impossible to say. And it's we've taken way too long trying to install all these operating systems as is. So I think the best course of action at this point is just go ahead and install Windows 10 and get it over with. Finish the job and uh, find out how crappy this game can actually become. It runs best on Windows 7 so far, is what I've seen. So uh, let's go ahead and insert our last disc. This is an official disc. Doesn't look like it, but it is. It's Windows 10. Uh, downloaded from Microsoft's website when Windows 10 was officially released. Whether this is an upgrade or not, I have no idea. But it probably won't like me connected to the internet while I do this, so we'll see if it actually lets me. Again, we have not restarted since we've installed Windows 8. Tap to choose what happens with this disk. Run setup error.exe? I already have an error set up before it even starts working. Your current version is th th oh shit! I have a 32-bit version of Windows 10. Oh fuck! Well, I'll have to get me one of those. Well, it's working. This is day four or five now. But it wants me to activate Windows. What happened to the backlight? Damn it! Okay, we got our weed on. So what we can do here is go to the desktop and actually we can get the later latest bootcamp support software. A zip that takes this long to extract? Will this work? What? Well since I don't have a Windows 10 32-bit disk readily available, why don't we just let Windows 8 upgrade itself to Windows 10 through the free Windows 10 upgrade thingamabobber? Uh, now, the only way we can do that is if we let it update. Check for updates now. Holy piss, it's taking a while. It took five minutes to show me this. Let's do it again. So while I was spending half the day waiting for that, uh, it finally hit me. I need to use the Windows 7 like update checker, and there it goes. Uh, most recent check for updates never. Um, so right now we're on build 9200, which is like the gold master Windows 8 build, I believe. So that means it's it definitely would not have built-in functionality to upgrade to Windows 10. Obviously, because according to this, Windows 8 just came out. <laughs> so, we're going to have to run a good amount of updates before the Windows 10 upgrade appears. Now, since I don't have this activated, and uh, I don't really know what the actual product key is anymore, uh, it might not be happy with us and may not let us do it. Uh, if that's the case, then we'll have to uh, find another way to get to Windows 10. But I guess I will let this run for the next decade, and uh, we'll be uh, right back. Oh my god. <laughs> Sometimes Windows Update itself needs to be updated. To continue, you need to do this now. Your automatic update settings won't change at all. Install. Oh my god. <laughs> That's how out of date it is already. <laughs> and I'm restarting. Your PC will automatically start in two days if you don't restart now. Okay, well, I'm not arguing. Oh lord. You're set to automatically install updates, no updates are available. Let me guess, I use I now I use the built-in Windows 8 one. <laughs> 185 important updates are available. Oh Jesus! Oh no. Why am I doing this? Oh god. Well, it says it was at 0% downloading, so I decided to restart it, and then it started doing this, so I guess it is working. So the computer restarted, and now it's doing this. I just turned around. Wait, 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 wait. Windows, Windows, Windows. We, wait, wait, wait. We can talk about this. Just, just put everything back the way it was. No, 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 don't put everything back the way it was. Just keep, finish the updates. It's restarted a few times, and it's still doing this. Probably should have sought out a 32-bit version somewhere. But hey, maybe when it finally finishes this, 
it'll have at least some of the updates installed and maybe there's a good chance that it's the install Windows 10 thingamabobber. So uh, let's uh, get restarted again so we might just get lucky. Nope, same shit. What? What? Is this? Is this what I think it is? Oh, this is this is a post blue screen, I think. Well, give me the stop error code. Oh, let's see here. We've got a mini dump. Whatever. I guess I can not have it not send. Well, whatever. Okay. So how far did we get? Well, we're still on the same build. And I don't really expect that to change so much, but I've now used up about almost half of the S SSD just from installing Windows. Okay, so if we look at the updates that are installed so far, well, or at least the up remaining updates to install, we have just 66 left as opposed to, what was it before, like 190? Or was it 109? I think it was 119. So, I guess I can have it do that. And see if it can get any further, giving it another try. Again, this has probably been churning for more than seven hours. Just waiting for updates and installing and all that jazz. I haven't even tried to install Windows today. It's not at all. That was, that was yesterday. Well, that took a while. Now it's restarting again. Oh my god. I've waited hours. I've waited hours for this. For this moment! <laughs> now it has a percentage. Every one of these updates takes like one minute each, and I just wanna- I'm gonna need some Vegeta to measure these frustration levels. So, uh, I had to force shut it down because it was doing this for a lot more hours. And now I'm waiting for it to get through it again. So, yeah. It's fun. Okay, well, it actually finished and started up successfully. Do we have the update thing at the bottom? To Windows 10? I don't see it. How about our updates? Wait, what? Okay, so before there was like 119 updates, now there's 201! What? Okay, this isn't working. I'm gonna need to get an actual Windows 10 CD. So it looks like I was wrong! It won't just start up again normally! Well, luckily that didn't take very long. So, uh, what do we got now? Windows 10 Pro 32-bit. Well, magically we have Windows 10 32-bit. Hey, hey! Preparation? More like preparation... Preparation? Uh-oh. Man, it's taking a long time for preparation. Someone out there is going to know I pronounced that incorrectly. Oh, great. It's in French. Hell. Son of a bitch. It, something is important. Uh, obtain your download the installer recommended or don't activate Windows and I'm online. I don't know if anybody out there uh, knows any French, but uh, let me know if I'm right with this. At this screen, I don't think I showed it while we were on Windows 8. This is not 8.1, which is 3.1 is experience index. Still the text 32 bit operating system, x64 based processor. I don't know if that's actually true, or maybe the firmware is just the 32 bit part, but <laughs> the computer name is still MacBook XP. Nothing really has changed there. Let's see if we can do this in French. Preparing PC... Preparations of certain elements. We are preparing certain elements, that is what it says. <laughs> this is the part where it wants the product key. And unfortunately, it doesn't give me an option to not give the product key. So my only option is to go to previous. Enter the product. Verification failed. Shit. Well, uh, looks like we need to install more updates. Maybe this will give us Windows 10 instead. 
So since I was totally out of the loop when it came to Windows 8, I was I stopped at Windows 7 and stayed there until Windows 10. There was a weird little update thingy going from 8 to 8.1. Uh, I was told that you only had a limited amount of time to do it before they didn't let you do it anymore. Apparently, if this works, I can still do it. And 8.1 is supposedly the system that allows for the little nag Windows logo down on the bottom that I want to update to Windows 10. Now, of course, while this is going, I'm going to look for another source of Windows 10 that's not reliant on a hundreds of crazy updates. So, uh, we'll just try to multitask here. Oh my god, it just fucking spammed me with a bunch of downloads. I've never had to wait this long for anything. I've tried to make this go through several cycles of updates, but every single time I try it, every single fucking time, it goes forever, and then it says failed, and has to revert all the changes. It takes about one to two hours, and probably restarts once or twice in between. So this thing has been churning and burning itself through just processing updates. So, I think finally, we have a, a solution. It took a little while to acquire it, but I think it may be what we'll need to finish this little OS rodeo. I've gone to hell and back trying to find something that works. I had to go through a long adventure of questionable legitimacy to get to our final goal and destination, which is upgrading from Windows 8 to Windows 10. I'm, I'm very, very tired. I'm, oh my, I'm very tired. Um, it's almost been a week since I started making this video. Now, I haven't been working on it all day, every day, only when I've had free time. Oh, you're preparing, you're always preparing, just go! Just go. Holy crap, I can read it! Uh... Wow, that's not at all what I thought it said. Uh, never mind. People from France. For those of you who are wondering why I have autofocus on, is because when I zoom in, if I set it to manual, and I zoom in, it looks like that. So, choose what to keep? Excuse me? It better not come up with Hot Wheels Velocity X not working, because then I'll be a lot of the sad. Am I ready to install? Am I? Are we all ready to install? I can change what to keep. I'm just going to not touch it. You won't be able to use your PC while Windows installs. Well, I don't care. I haven't been using it for like the past week. Well, this is different. This is a lot different. This isn't like the other ones. Oh, and another thing about the focus. I can't tell if it's really perfectly in focus, like 1080p text crisp focus, because the little LCD panel on this camera is not 1080p. It's like 640 by 360 or something ridiculous. Okay, 1%. It's going. And it's going well. This is crisp. This is clean. This is the most simple screen I've ever seen! Well, I guess I'll let it sit there. The screen that every Windows 7 user fears. The auto-upgrading of Windows 10. Well, it restarted while I wasn't looking. And... Now it's doing that. So, I don't know whether that ring filled up all the way. It probably didn't. Yep, 30. I'm assuming it goes 30, 30, 30. Every restart. First it has to copy files, then it has to install features and drivers, which it currently is doing. And then it configures settings for the remainder. And uh, then it goes. So uh, it just kind of do a little ring around the thing, and then uh, it'll be done. And it'll, of course, do a couple more things to make me wait even longer. And then we should be able to play Hot Wheels Velocity X. Oh, look, it's almost done. This is actually pretty quick. I mean, compared to all the rest of the waiting that I've done, this is actually pretty fast. But it's almost done, 94%. Uh, it's getting ready. Oh! Well, that's scary. Post setup security updates with dollar signs. Hmm, this must have been the hackers that made this. It's green. 
I mean, look at it. I don't know why it's installing the Windows Malicious Software Removal Tool. Oh my god. This looks beautiful. Welcome to Windows 10, Draga. I'm not Draga. That's an option? Well, it's not true, so let's go. It's time to enter the product key. Do this later. Here's the legal stuff. And I like how they kept the green <laughs> from my Windows 8. But it's blue in the background. Get going. Fast. So you can just use, uh, use Express Settings. I'm just going to use Express Settings. I will not be setting up Cortana. Um... You know, express settings are the devil, you know, blah, 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 whatever. This is what fixed exposure looks like, by the way. Ooh, 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 I like that. I don't like that. That's bad. We've updated your PC. All your files are exactly where you left them, but the second you read that as a Windows 7 user, it's like, oh, hell no, I know it's not going to be right. I know they're going to have moved something. As much as this very sincere promise seems to describe, we've got some new features to get excited about. Now, I'm excited. I'm excited to play... Hot Wheels Velocity X at like 4 FPS. Don't turn off your PC! Wow. Wow. I'll walk away for a second. And it's done! That's it. It's done. I remember the last time I saw this on a laptop, it was a ThinkPad X301. And that crashed. Like, almost instantaneously. Uh, right around the time when I started going like this. So, uh, I think it auto-connected to the internet. Let's go on the internets. Do I have two finger scroll? Nope. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright. So, the final test is can it eject? Actually, that's not the final test. But, if you're curious, it will not eject. So, that means we have to eject it manually. Will two finger click work? Yeah, I don't think any boot camp made its way over. Oh, look, never mind, it did. Second time that's happened to me. Alright. It is Velocity X time, and this is going to conclude our little series here. Having been installed, remind you, on Windows XP, will it survive Vista 7, 8, and then 10 installs? Display options, they should be the same as they were in Windows 7. Fixed exposure is way better. I need to do this more often. THQ logo still at lower FPS, similar to Windows 8. Probably you can't see that on YouTube. And my camera won't do 60 FPS without some crazy... In oh! Oh! The smoothest part of this game is this scene right here. I think Windows 10 just took a dump on this game. Oh man, I can smell it. Oh, dang, that's foul. Oh, at least the music is working. I can hear the sound. Can't turn it up. So if this is how slow it's going to be rendering 2D graphics, which is about two, three seconds per frame. We gonna have some problems. Um, I stopped the recording because it's taken a while. The sound effect just played for when it hits the metal. The uh, little Velocity X logo has to fall down slowly. Very slowly. This is how I imagine games would run if I tried to get them to run on, like... I feel like the Ultimate DOS machine would handle this better. Like a 286? I don't even know! The original Macintosh? 
Like, this is how slow I would think it would be. Like, I think it'd be cool if you could run literally any software on any computer. It would just proportionately go slower and slower. So it would have to, like, draw each frame down for how long it takes. You know, like that. Like, that's the progress per frame. I don't know how long the process is. It's like... Even if that was the progress, it'd still be faster than that. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. I... Of all the things I thought I'd be waiting for, I didn't think it'd be this. This is the fastest part of the whole game. Just this... And it's a game about racing! And running around at high speeds! <laughs> Ouch. Oh, come on. Oh my god, is it fading in the Hot Wheels logo? And now we have to wait for the lens flare to crawl across the text. Might want to take a listen to that fan. I want to say it's maxed out. I believe the logo is faded in entirely. Tune in next week to see the logo finish playing back. Wait, what's that? We are adding some new features to Windows. That's what it said in the bottom? Oh, great. So it's trying to update Windows and finish installing it. That's why it's going so slow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there's our invitation to press enter. And this should blink away. Usually takes about a second. Real time. Oh, wow. Whoa, ooh, that's blinding. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Tell me. How many lights you see? There are four lights! Oh my piss! It's not rendering the 3D model of the co Oh, there it is. Oh man. Oh wait, I have to wait for a loading sequence that easily took up to 10 seconds in real time? Oh my god, it loaded! It loaded! I waited an hour. Actually, it wasn't an hour. It was more like five minutes. It hasn't even hit the ground yet. <laughs> oh. Oop. Suspension kicked it. This is delicious. Fun fact. I use Sony Movie Studio Platinum 13 to edit my videos. It's essentially the baby version of Sony Vegas. For whatever reason, it won't let me speed up footage as much as I want. It caps out at a certain super fast maximum, but won't get any faster. I don't know how much faster this is, but this is the game UI coming up at this clip's maximum speed on my editing software. Okay, I waited a good while for this to load up. I think I may have waited too long for this to load up. Look at the time. I think it crashed. Wait! Three. Oh my god. I just realized there's a random building on fire in the background. You know, I think I'm just gonna sit something down on the key. I'll try to look for something that's heavy enough. Ah, a hard disk. I managed to balance a hard disk on top of a, uh, a toenail clipper. I think that'll keep it going, so I guess I'll come back later. I don't even know where I am anymore! Oh my god. How satisfied were you with the experience of upgrading to Windows 10? This is pretty shitty so far! It's only using 20% CPU? What? That's it? A horrible, horrible performance? I'm not even using any memory? What? So of course, take another look at this. Windows 10 Pro. Yada yada yada. Pretty much everything you've already seen, but let's take a look. Documents. This is our documents from from Windows XP. Remember when I tried to install Vivaldi? I can install Vivaldi now. Okay, that's. I, oh, 
I canceled the installation before it finished. That was the fastest install I've ever seen. Oh my god. I thought I canceled its installation startup, but it's already done. I just, like stopped the camera because I thought, and then, oh my god, this, that's weird. Okay, well that works now. Okay. So what else? The other stuff we have in here is uh, the old downloads folder. Uh, crystal disk info. What happened to our SSD um, during that whole installation process? Total host reads, total host writes. 177 gigs written, or sorry, 177 gigs read, 250 gigs written, total NAND writes 315, power on hours 13 now. So I'm going to put a little comparison up so you could see what it looked like in the previous video before I started the install fest. And it, it is definitely uh, put some stuff on this. So now uh, now that there we're running Windows 10, we have actually the the software end of trim enabled. Uh, so still we don't have any problems with this SSD. Everything's exactly the same. Um, the only other thing is the amount of disk space we have left on the drive, which is a lot less than it used to be. We have 58 gigs free rather than... The fan is actually not running very high right now. This is actually weird. 53 gigs used. Oh yeah, and a restart didn't cure this. So yeah, I could try to, to lower the graphics and stuff, but it's just not worth it if it's if it's doing that on the 2D animations. Uh, I didn't really get uh, all the boot cam drivers working exactly. It's enough. The internet works. Um, I was able to download stuff, so that's good. Of course, the display works. You know, no like 640 by 480 or anything weird like that. The keyboard hotkeys don't work except for the eject button. That still works. Right click works. So the most crucial, or the two finger click, whatever. The most crucial hotkeys work. Um, you don't have brightness up down. You don't have um, volume up down. Um, sometimes Windows 10 will boot up, and sometimes it is with Windows 8 with the backlight off for no reason. And there's no way to turn it back. I just have to restart it. Uh, so I think it did pretty good. I think it retained the eject functionality from Windows 7 when I had to reinstall, but then I think I may have lost it in Windows 8, I can't really remember, but it's working well enough. Um, right now, the fans aren't really running. Well, they, they, are, they are running pretty high now, but there was a little period in there that it wasn't, they weren't running very high, but this is, this computer is by no means designed to run this new of an operating system, but it just shows that it can. Other people have done it on YouTube, I think it was the 8-bit guy who did uh, uh, the uh, Windows 10 on a MacBook or something, I think it was him, and yeah, it's definitely possible. Um, if you want to do that sort of thing, don't install Windows XP through Windows Vista first, just install Windows 10, you'll have a much better time. So, uh, this has been, uh, been a, and I'm sure there's a package of drivers out there somewhere that works with Windows 10 better. I found that that the 4.0, the Bootcamp 4.0 drivers were supposed to work, but they really wanted Windows 7 and didn't really want to play with Windows 10. I'm sure they're out somewhere, I just didn't want to take the time to go find them, because it works fine enough, and uh, I think we've 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 covered all the bases here. And there's actually still two more things I forgot. Um, whether or not it can revert to the previous operating system. Yes, it does. You can go back to Windows 8. Uh, only available a month after you upgrade to Windows 10. Reset the PC and, and start up. Blah, blah, blah. And of course, the final thing we haven't done yet is a reboot test to see how long it takes for it to restart. I'm going to be doing the restart from the Chime.
Come on, you can do it. It's gonna be close. Oh, it's gonna be so close. Ah, oh, man, it's not gonna quite make the XP time. Uh, it's definitely going a bit over. I can't really say as I blame it. So, not not too great in, in the in the land of SSDs. But uh, you sort of get the picture. There it goes. And I don't know if that's the Windows 10 startup time thing or not, or if that got grandfathered in from Windows 7. So, it's weird. So, yeah. 1 minute, 25 seconds compared to whatever the XP time was. Well, everybody, this has been Draga One. Thanks for watching this crazy upgrade fest. I don't know what else to do with Windows 10 right now. I'm sort of overwhelmed with this at the moment. I don't even know where my car got to. Like, I think it covered some ground. All I was doing was just holding the forward button, and I've, like, covered the whole map. I think we're just about out of time here for today. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, I hope to see you again next time. See you later.